Last time, an erroneous newspaper article claims that CeCe will keep the orphanage's money, and a riot almost breaks out. Counselor Zatornik and Helena entice Arcus to finally rid them of CeCe. Finally! <laughs> Helena rejoices at the news of her rival's demise. I'll be the Empress! <laughs> but it is CeCe who has the final laugh. <laughs> gown before the nuptials. Never! If he sees it, the wedding will be cancelled. Never. Cancelled. Never. Cancelled. Never. Cancelled. 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 Nightmare. Still in bed, Cece? Get up! Up, up, you up! You can't stay in bed on a day like this! Look, it's spring! Ah, oh, they're unbelievable. Come along, Cece! The prince and the empress are waiting for you. It must be about your wedding. My wedding? Oh, that's right. Can you imagine that it's only in a few more days? I can hardly believe it. And don't forget the couturier. He's coming for the fittings this morning. The sacred Habsburg tiara. A singular creation of the jeweler's art. One of the most precious in the world. I wore it at my wedding, as you shall wear it at yours in one week's time. It's magnificent. No. <coughs> Only members of the Imperial family are entitled to touch the sacred tiara. And you're not yet part of the Imperial family, the Princess Elizabeth. Wait a few more days and you can wear it when and where you like. Here it is. The guest list. All the crowned heads of Europe are invited. I've also invited some important people. Oh, really? My Hungarian friends, Gyula Andrasi and Ida Ferenczi. 
It'll finally give us the chance to sign the peace treaty with Hungary. You might have consulted me. If you'll permit me, Majesty, Princess Elizabeth has done well. Oh? Marriage is a symbol of union and understanding, is it not, Majesty? What better time to make peace with former enemies? Huh? Fine, it's agreed then. Franz, you are in charge of signing the peace treaty. Oh, the wedding gown. The couturier must be waiting for me. With your permission, Mother, we have to settle a matter that's even more urgent than the peace treaty. Oh, will that girl never learn to follow the rules? Cece, wait for me! No, Franz, go away. You can't come with me. But why? If the groom sees the bridal gown before the ceremony, the wedding might be cancelled. <laughs> I didn't know you were so superstitious, Cece. Those are just old wives' tales. Maybe so, but I mean it, Franz. Swear to me you won't try to see my gown before the wedding day. Since it's so important to you, your wish is my command, Princess. <laughs> I beg of you, don't move a muscle! You promised not to... <gasps> well, I'll be. My own daughter isn't even happy to see me. Papa! Oh, 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 Poor Franz. Little does he know he's about to marry a porcupine. See, Miss Lucy, this way Cece won't need bodyguards at her wedding. Simple as that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see you both. Come on, you guys! I'll show you the secret corridors! They're secret corridors? Wow! <clears throat> I have to finish the fitting. These gifts are pathetic. You think so? Uh-huh. What an incredible mirror. <gasps> they say a broken mirror means seven years of bad luck. Don't tell me you're superstitious, too. Imagine that. Helena and Cece have something in common. What do you mean? She thinks if I see her wedding dress before the ceremony that it might be canceled. How silly. By the way, Franz, I have a gift for you as well. Oh, really? Yes, and I think it's much more original than all this tacky stuff. Now, where on earth could I have... Ah, I know. Wait here. I'll just be a minute. <sighs> oh. Huh? Now, what is it? It's horrible. <laughs> Nobody loves me. <laughs> oh, you know that's not true. You have a lot of friends. Really. Oh, Elizabeth. I've been so mean to you. How could you ever forgive me? <laughs> Please, don't cry anymore. Of course I forgive you, Helena. Come on, let's be friends. Hmm. Your gown is gorgeous. I had one made specially for the wedding, too. Come on, I want to know what you think. Franz! Cece! Oh. <laughs> Cece, wait! So, did you like my gift? I really pity the man who marries you. He'd be better off with a tarantula. A tarantula? What's a tarantula? <laughs> this way! <laughs> Cece told us everything. Boy, is she upset. So am I. I can't believe I let Helena trick me like that. Cece thinks you did it on purpose. You gotta be careful with that faker, Helena. Come on, Franz, don't worry. I think I have a great idea. 
Listen, where are you taking me? Don't worry, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Every butterfly thinks it's alone in the world, but there's another butterfly, as alone as he is, with the same colors. So the butterfly flies off in search of that other one that's made for him, and when they find each other, nothing will come between them. Oh! Hooray! Yeah! 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 Simple as that! <laughs> We're invited to the wedding of Princess Elizabeth. But you're Hungarians! Well, here's our official invitation, if you can read. Fine, you may proceed. <laughs> Hungarians? It's Schoenbrunn? Oh, I've seen everything. Ah! Well, can I get in? Oh, well, the prince and princess are certainly inviting some strange characters to their wedding. What fair wind brings you here? Now, now, demon, leave our good friend alone. You betrayed me like a coward, Zatornik. You tossed me out of a palace like a bum. One of these days I'll make you pay for it, and pay mm. dearly. Come, come, my dear Count. You've got it all wrong. What in the world have you got on? A Hungarian get-up, if I'm not mistaken. Well, you're giving me an idea, Count Arcus. A good, a very good, an excellent idea that ought to get rid of our common foes. Ida! Huh. You're here at last. I'm so happy. <laughs> Cece, we missed you so much. Eula. <laughs> Prince Franz, good to see you again, Morgash. Franz, come meet my friends. I'm coming. Morgash, I don't believe you've met my fiance, Elizabeth. Cece to her friends. <laughs> Franz, you can be so formal sometimes. At the palace, maybe, but not at the mine. Little Joe! Cece, let me introduce you to my personal guest, Little Joe, the man who... who... saved your life at the Vifal Mine, I remember. Hello, Little Joe, and thanks. So here we are together to sign the peace treaty between our two countries. Come, everyone. We have so much to talk about. What's going on? I'm so miserable! <laughs> now, now, Helena, tell me why you're so upset. Cece is getting married, and I, I'll end up an old maid! <laughs> oh, if that's all it is, I have the perfect husband for you. Huh? What do you say to marrying? Prince Carl. Prince Carl? Why, yes, of course. It's a wonderful idea. I've been wanting to see you two together for so long. We'll announce your engagement at Franz and Elizabeth's wedding. There, Helena. Feel better? M much better, Majesty. Dry your tears and make yourself pretty for the ball. I'll go tell Carl. Oh, I can see his happy face already. Mary Helena, it's impossible. How could Mother do that to me? 
What have I done to deserve such a fate? Listen, Carl. Life with Helena won't be as unhappy as all that. Provided that you compliment her and tell you're blue in the face. Carry her on walks so she won't Whoa. dirty her boots. <laughs> and listen to hours of incomprehensible war stories from Marshal von Grossberg. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, Carl. I'll speak to Mother, and I'm sure she'll have pity on you. Their Majesties, Napoleon III, Emperor of France, and Victoria, Queen of England. Um, Mr. Charles Dickens, the, the King of Arthurs. <laughs> Your Majesty, could you grant me a favor? Why, of course, Councillor Zatonic. This Hungarian delegate would very much like to see the famous Habsburg tiara up close. A childhood dream. Uh, what I won't do in the name of peace and childhood dreams. A thousand thanks, Majesty. <laughs> With these precious stones, you'll have no problem leaving an obvious trail on your way into Hungary. And now, Count Arcus, do your duty. With the greatest of pleasure, Excellency. <coughs> Majesty, they tried to assassinate me. The thief! Did you see the thief? Oh. It's all my fault. Do you mean it was that hairy Hungarian? Yes, Majesty. Marshal, we must arrest them immediately. All of them. Oh, the majesty. Arrest them discreetly. But please, don't make a scene. There isn't a minute to spare. Huh? What is it, Tommy? We have to warn the Hungarians, Duke Max. They might be arrested any minute now. What? No time to explain. Please hurry. Too late. You're under arrest! What's the meaning of this? Let us go! Impossible, Marshal. Andrasi is dancing with the princess, and Ida Ferenczi is dancing with the prince. We'd risk a scandal! Abandon my comrades. You can't do any more for the Mandrasi. But don't you worry too much, my friend. I wonder where Ida and Gula went. 
and the rest of the Hungarian delegation. Now what's going on? We have orders to search all the carriages. It's impossible. The Hungarians would never attempt that kind of heinous crime. The very night the peace treaty was going to be signed? I can assure you I know a Hungarian when I see one, Princess. What's more, the disappearance of Andrasi and his accomplice has theft written all over it. Whatever the case, the disappearance of the Habsburg tiara forces me to make a painful decision. Franz, I must cancel your wedding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By this oh. time, the thief must surely be on his way to Hungary. It is up to you to recover the tiara, Franz. Only someone with royal blood has the right to put his hands upon it. I shall order an escort. Forget the escort, Mother. If I have to go into Hungary to get the tiara back, I must go in disguise and without soldiers. Otherwise, it'll look like an invasion. But I could go with you, Franz. Together, we'll double our chances of success. Sometimes being a contortionist comes in handy. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, Max, here we are. Outlaws once again. Look after them, little Joe. Come back to me soon, Franz. People say I am just too bold.